welcome to Scorpio to your numerology reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what the universe has for you right now. I'm talking about right now. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, numbers coming out are 71, help. And then you have the impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. And breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. So first going over here to the health real quick. We will get to the top of cards in just a second. Um, we're definitely talking about self-care, your well-being. Making sure that you are exploring the practices and behaviors that you can enhance your physical, mental, and emotional state um, of health and well-being. Um, so making sure that anything that needs to be done is being done. It's very focused right now that there is something going on that is putting your health, you know, a kind of a risk for you. And um, you definitely need to find that happiness first or really get something checked out. If you, you know, need a regular checkup or you need to detoxify or any of those things, right? Or just, you know, keeping yourself in a better mood. Um, so definitely talking about the health over here. And it's talking about this impasse over here. It's telling you it's time to redirect your energy. Um, it's time to really focus on what is making you happy, what is upsetting you. And remember that <clears throat> being in an impasse doesn't mean that you have to turn around, you know, and do something else. Um, it's really just telling you that it's time to reflect and redirect your energy, right, to it something else or another way. Don't be stuck in an impasse. This little squirrel is a thinker. Um, squirrels are, as spirit guides, they are definitely um, showing how to solve puzzles. They're puzzle solvers. So really wanting to know that, you know what, I could use this tree, jump over that, that wall, and now that wall is no longer um, right in my way. And this is talking about a breakthrough is at hand, saying once you figure this out, you can definitely break the walls down. You can definitely figure out which directions you really want to go in. You know, whether this is concerning, you know, your health because of a relationship, business, finances, um, you know, what is it? Or is it just a physical um, ailment? Um, but definitely getting clear about which way you want to push things. Um, when we're talking about the breakthrough over here, what great efforts, you know, are coming towards you? How am I going to break this through? You know, when you redirect your energy, you're definitely going to have the breakthrough at hand. Seven plus one equals eight, guys. Eight is talking about that harmony, right? Talking about that manifestation, talking about that breakthrough, getting clear about the situations. What is it that I truly want? Making a new beginning with the one. Seven is saying you're divinely guided. Everything's going to be okay. I got your back. Let's think about this. Um, the topic card over here is talking about work, working through everything, you know, this, you know, whether it's at work or just the work itself, it's going to take work, um, no matter what to get to where you need to be. But for a lot of you, it has something to do with anxiety about what do you feel anxious about? How is this causing you to make choices that are out of your alignment with the reality of your needs, your desires, or and your situation at hand through the help. So I'm not wanting to make that worse than it already is um, when it comes to healthy choices or dealing with your health. I think a lot of the health in itself for most of you is something about, you know, anxiety itself, insomnia, um, not knowing exactly which way to go. How am I going to get past this, right? For others of you, if it's the anxiety of going to the doctor, I don't like the doctor, I don't like the dentist, um, you know, you're going to have to make the healthy choice to say, you know what, I think it's time to actually need to go and do such a thing. Therapy, counseling, things like that also come in that area. Let's see what's going on. We're going to clarify on the word the anxiety. For some of you, it has something to do with, you know, and here's that health again, having a healthy relationship, 
mutual attraction, the connection that you're looking for. Um, and if it's not, you know, and it's just health itself and it doesn't have to do with anybody, um, then it's just talking about the connection that you have with your higher self, knowing that, you know what, I have to do this for myself. This is what is healthy. My soul wants me to do such a thing. I need to get out there to get united, get balanced um, within myself. Um, huh. Over here on the anxiety and the breakthrough, we do definitely have emotional immaturity. Look at that. Insecurities, disappointments. What creative blocks am I, you know, making for myself? Um, if, you know, it's some kind of, you know, uh, something has to do with work. Um, but definitely talking about, you know, the insecurities of the situation, which causes the anxieties. Um, so definitely there is some kind of emotional thing for a lot of you who's going on. We have a lot of cups over here. So definitely needing to work on these situations, the situations at hand. Needing the ending for the transformation so that you become happy again. Making that beginning right with the one. Talking about making a new cycle change. Making something healthy. Making yourself. And this is going to be more than a butterfly effect, right guys? This is going to be a phoenix effect. Why? Because I need to burn everything down and then rebuild again. So that way I feel healthy everywhere. Not just, you know, butterfly effect over here where we're having a small transformation right? Coming out of a cocoon into a butterfly. No, no, no. I need to burn it down and fly free, right? This way I feel free. I don't feel like there's any impasse. I feel like I have the complete breakthrough that I need. And this is going to definitely, ooh, I love this. This is going to give you the opportunities and the choices, you know, and bring you back to the place you feel more comfortable in the end, right? This is where you really want to be. Wow, look at all the cups, guys. Got you here at the Scorpio needing that transformation. But then you have all these cups around you. So it might be the relationship that has you down. You might have put a lot of whole hard work into your goals. And then they have you down because you got stuck at an impasse. Take it how it resonates. You know, but it's talking about something that's kind of bittersweet. Something that's affecting the health. Making important choices. But it's going to allow you actually to, with the Two of Cups, to be able to look at yourself, right, in a different way. Not second-guessing your abilities, not, you know, looking at this or that. It's going to be cutting ties with anything that and nothing that doesn't suit you anymore. Knowing that this is the healthy decision that I need to make for your dreams, your wishes to come true. There's going to be a lot of patterns going on that you're going to be noticing within this situation. Why do we know it's patterns? Because we have the one, we have the two, we have, you know, see what I'm saying? We have the four and then the three and the seven. So it's, you're probably going to see a lot of synchronicities and a lot of patterns going as you're moving towards this healthiness and really working towards breaking the barriers on this situation. So knowing that, you know, there's going to be a lot of confidence also that's going to be rebuilding as you get more motivated. Okay. Very beautiful. Let's get a, yeah, and I love it because, you know, it's going to change everything for you once you have that transformation. And that's really what's going on. You know, if you guys are seeing 871, this is because it's telling you it's now time to have this transformation. Oops, there's your card. Daily inspiration card is express your love through your deeds. And not just love towards other people, because you could say, I already give them love. Well, okay, well, where's the self-love? Are you giving more out to someone else than you're giving to yourself? That's unhealthy. So we need to make sure that we keep balanced within how much love I give myself as, as much as I give to another. There is also a give and take within yourself to give to yourself as much as another. Okay. You're just as important as everybody else, and you will find this logic working for you. Okay. Just keep it slow, keep it easy, and you'll realize these things are really coming towards you as you are really moving um, along over here. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.